Hi everybody, my name is Kim and in this video we are going to be looking at how to use the effects stack with audio filters in Storyboard Pro 20. So what is the effects stack? Well, the effects stack is a new window that has been added to help you manage your audio filters. You can find it by going to your Windows dropdown and selecting effects stack and it will pop up as a window. On top of the effects stack, a bunch of audio filters have also been added to Storyboard Pro 20 to really help you maximize your sound in your animatics. I'm going to use the sound clip over here as an example, specifically the announcer sound clip. Let's take a listen to it. It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the canyons into the maze trunk forest. Okay, so basically it's just your usual announcer voice that's talking about what's happening on the screen and there's some engines revving in the background. So I'm just gonna add a couple of filters using my effects stack to this clip. I think the first filter I'm going to add is reverb. That way it'll sound like the microphone is echoing a little bit when the announcer speaks. So I'm gonna to go to my effects stack here and I'm gonna go down to the right hand corner and you'll see that there's two buttons here. We're looking specifically at this button, which is the add effect button. If I select that, you'll see that a whole bunch of options come up. There's balance, there's delay, there's high pass filter, low pass filter, pitch shift, reverb, and volume. I'm specifically going to add the reverb effect. You'll see that as soon as you add an effect, a little effects icon comes up on the clip that you've added it to. If I go back to my effects stack and I use the drop down on my reverb, I can now see all of the values that allow me to adjust that effect. I'm going to leave that for now and I just want to see what it sounds like with that effect on it. If I just press play up here, I'm going to hear it with all of the other sounds in my animatic as well. But if we use this button in the bottom corner over here, you'll actually be able to hear just that clip with the effects added to it. It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the canyons into the maze trunk forest. Okay, that's great. It actually sounds really cool with the with the echo and the reverb on it. So I'm not going to do any changes to that effect. Let's listen to it with the other sounds in the animatic. It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the canyons into the maze trunk forest. So one thing I've noticed is that it's a little bit loud. Maybe we're struggling to hear the, the other sounds in the animatic. So another thing we can adjust is go back to our effects over here and add a volume. So I'm going to go here to my volume, drop down, and it's at zero decibels. Let's uh, maybe bring it down to minus 10. It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the camp. That's better, but now it's a little bit too soft. So I'm going to go back and change it to maybe a minus three. It's leg two of the race as the racers head from the And that's way better. I like how that sounds. So you'll notice now that we have two effects here in the effects stack. They're always added in the order that you apply them to your sound clip, but you can also move them around. You're also able to turn off an effect and listen to the sound clip without that effect playing. And you're able to select and delete effects using the bin in the bottom right corner. You'll also notice that the gain up here is a default effect that is inside the stack when you open it, and this cannot be moved around. The last thing I'd like to mention is you can also change the speed of your clips. All you have to do is right click on the clip and go to speed duration and then adjust your values accordingly. The percentage of the speed, the duration of the speed and whether you wanted to preserve the pitch in the audio and ripple edit the duration throughout. And that's how to use the effects stack with audio filters in Storyboard Pro 20.